Before heading back to the States and leaving Asia, I went to Japan for a long weekend. I landed in the evening, so I thought I'd take a stroll around. It's really true that Japan is pretty safe. If you leave an umbrella around, then no one's going to take it. This was actually my second time going to Japan. They have a lot of these gaming rooms everywhere. There's actually a lot more in Akihabara. You're not supposed to be filming or taking videos here, but someone actually scolded me afterwards. My mistake. They have a lot of family marts and 7-Elevens everywhere, but there's also vending machines pretty much all over Tokyo. This is the norm there. Aside from vending machines, they also have a lot of lockers everywhere. I actually used it, it's convenient. Following day, I grabbed a bite to eat before I went to Mount Fuji. Here we are going on a boat so that we can catch a glimpse of Mount Fuji on the water. I was extremely lucky because Mount Fuji is not usually so clear like this and Mount Fuji is so beautiful. I was so excited so I took a lot of pictures. Totally worth it. Lots of people take this bus tour from Tokyo. It's really truly amazing. And then I went to 5th station and checked out some of the pagodas here. These are basically little messages and blessings that you wish for people at the pagoda. I do really hope I explained that correctly. And of course I had to get a picture of Mount Fuji 5th station because this is one of the highest points you can get without climbing. And you can see a bunch of clouds and the southern alps of Japan. So pretty up here. We're pretty high actually. They got a lot of cute souvenirs. These are cookies. I actually got a t-shirt from my boyfriend. Next, we're actually going up to the summit of another mountain. This mountain is pretty big also. We're taking a cable car up. I don't think it's as high as Mount Fuji, but you can definitely see a lot from up here too. It's one of the higher mountains as well. And also, you can see Mount Fuji from the window. We're gonna go all the way to the very top, and then we're gonna take some pictures of the viewpoint. Here you can see the top where the station we're headed to is. You do have to climb just a little bit. It's very, very windy anytime you're at a high altitude. Even at Mount Fuji it was. Quick little selfie before I go down. This is Owano Park. You can see late blooming cherry blossoms here, and I see a bunch of cute pagodas and trees. These cherry blossoms are so beautiful. I'm so happy that I saw them in Japan. I had to take some pictures. I saw a lot of other cherry blossom trees, but this one was one of the fuller ones. You can also get a great view of Tokyo from Skytree at the top. It's connected to a mall and I decided to browse around. Here's the Pokemon Center. Pokemon was huge when I was a kid and I really really enjoyed playing it. There is so much merch here. Personally, I'm only familiar with the original 150 Pokemon, but it's really really nice to be here. It's very nostalgic for me. Pokeballs! I also really wanted to go to Kirby Cafe. It's reservation only. I didn't know it was reservation only, but it's really cool and I'm really happy I at least got takeout here. If you're a Kirby fan, I think you'd really enjoy this place. The whole place is themed. If you didn't do reservation, you can still take a piece of Kirby Cafe with you. Just do takeout. I got this cute little bento box. It's adorable. Harajuku has a lot of cool stores too. I decided to go here for a tour. This is the mall in Harajuku. Actually, you'll see a lot of Lolitas here. In the mall, they also had a bunch of exhibitions from Japanese students in college. This exhibition is a coffin experience. I personally didn't try it, but I guess it's a form of meditation. There's a lot of really, really pretty exhibits here. I definitely took a lot of pictures. 
This one's really pink and kawaii. I also went to a maid cafe. It's a super exciting experience. You can't really film here other than your food, but if you want to take pictures with the maids, you do have to pay. I also went to a dog cafe, but personally don't really recommend it because the dogs, they really ignore most people. Shopping in Japan is a lot of fun. Here is a Hello Kitty store. Also, if you love luxury, they have a ton of consignment stores, and I mean a ton of consignment stores in Tokyo. There's a lot to see here, and sometimes there's a few on one block. It's really worth a visit if you like luxury. Last time I went to Tokyo, I also just browsed around and walked with a piece of ice cream. This is in Shinjuku. This cat is at the entrance of Shinjuku, and it's basically 3D. Really cool. Take a look. Thanks for watching! Subscribe if you enjoyed!